Is it on? Huh? Oh, oh, hey guys. Back today for another video. I know I haven't filmed in quite a while. I'm not gonna bore you with my excuses, but I've just been really busy and haven't been able to do much filming lately. Just really haven't wanted to, to be honest. But we do have some exciting surprises that might be coming to the channel in the farm soon, in a couple weeks, so I'll be able to tell you guys that. Not gonna tell you any better right now, but anyways, since my last video, we did end up getting a snowmobile, new snowmobile. Um, yeah, I'll show you it real quick. Here it is. It's a 2006 Arctic Cat. Nothing special, nothing special. It does have like a little problem with the cooling, so we gotta fix that, but it's super fun. It has a turbo. Yeah, it's pretty fun, but once we get the cooling system figured out, it's gonna be nice. It's just got that big old windshield. Still have about like a foot and a half of snow to be honest right now. But over the next week it's going to be up in the 40s during the day. So it's going to start melting away and it's going to get pretty messy. Like you can see the driveway. She's a little messy right now. in the road. Very, very messy. Seriously, look at that. Those little, those like big ruts right there. I got a little surprise for you guys. It's pretty cute. Pretty annoying. Yeah. Hi Samson. Hi Queen. You've seen these guys before. We got a little baby cow. You drank some of your milk. Uh, drink. 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 This is Bridget, I think. That's what we named her. Hi baby. We're just hey, 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 hey. no biting. Hey. I'm not your mom. I guess yesterday she got into here and Queen picked her up and lifted her up in the air and she tried to jump out and I guess that was pretty exciting. Hi, baby. We're trying to make her friendly cow. Should try to make a videos more than once a month because I feel like every time I make a new video after a month of filming, I'm just updating you guys with like everything that's happened. I guess that's just the way things happen, I guess. Not even kidding. Oh yeah, we also had a, that, I remember I told you guys that other cow that we had, that we had locked in there because she was supposed to have a baby. We ended up taking her out to the place where they go in the summer um, so she, the person's cow out there could have like a companion. And she ended up having her cow once we took her out there. <laughs> like a month late. Have been using this little sleigh. Um, another cool little sleigh for my team. Um, I hadn't had anything and Jay's dad let, told us he had this and yeah, it's really cool. Got three seats. It's like 180 years old. In the shop here I got been working on this cutting board. It's I decided I just ordered these boards and I cut them up. Decided to make a cutting board just something fun. So I might try to put it on Facebook and see if anybody wants to buy it or something but it's turned out pretty nice. It's been a lot of sanding because it's my first cutting board and I did some made some mistakes but it's not super smooth but it's my first one so I gotta move this one horse sleigh out of here. I have two sleighs that are like a hundred, that are over a hundred years old. This one's like 180 and I think that one's like 140 or something. So that's, that's pretty cool. I gotta move this out of the way because there's somebody coming to buy that um, saw right there. And I have... The shop is very, very messy. It's, it's kind of organized, but it's like kind of everything everywhere. But it works. Gosh, there's a lot to tell you guys since I haven't filmed in a month. We don't have any more pigs. We butchered the last two. Um, I butchered mine all by myself, mostly. And it was a lot of work, I'm gonna be honest. But it was really fun, I really enjoyed it. Anyways, at lunch I got everything out of the trailer. We're done with sleigh rides in Grafton for the year. It was pretty good. We had snow like for the past four or five times we went over there. So we, we only didn't have to change the sleigh runners that much. So that was nice. Trailer's kinda dirty, but. Yeah, it was pretty fun. It was a good year, considering everything, but yeah. One day we made like $200 in tips. But yeah, there's might be a change to this wall coming soon, but we'll let that be anonymous right now. I'm going to put the bucket on the tractor and go move some snow out of my gate so I can get into my field um, to bring horses water and stuff and move some snow out there, so... I'll try to film a little bit. You need to put a new starter on this tractor, I think. Let's see if it'll do it. 
we're gonna be in neutral first. Yeah, you hear that? It does that the first time and then it's fine. It's never that easy. It's never that easy. I gotta put the camera down now. I was trying to move the snow out of the, the snow bank out of front of the door, but it's frozen solid, so it's not really happening. I'm just kind of spinning and uh, hopefully my pro snow moving project goes a little better. Oh god, I am gonna freaking frick up this road, guys. Pray for me. Oh yeah, I'm already making a mess. This is a bad idea. Staying on this side seems a little cool. Okay. Driving on the wrong side of the road. So I gotta open this gate. And hopefully my horses don't get out. Meh. <sighs> we'll see. Don't don't stay stay in there, Trevet. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to plow this snow out of the gate right here and yeah. Hey, this is a mess. I pile, there's probably like, there, this snow is like a foot deep here and there's manure all under it. And the horses, they spread out the manure and so I pile it up and it's just, uh, it's irritating. They, they sleep on it at night. Come on buddy, watch out. Get out of the way. He, does, he did this in the summer when I was mowing hay too. Get out of the way. Get. I'm gonna run you into you. Okay, now I can shut the gate. You keep trying to get out, you can't. I'm just trying to move that snowball and I can't step too far because he'll step that way and try to get out. I got a good path cleared in from the road. I had to come in here first and back drag that pile of manure that I had by the gate. I kind of was being lazy and dumping it close to the gate, but this is gonna be such a mess within a week, all the snow. There was like two feet of manure that's built up in front of my barn. It's not even manure, it's mostly snow and ice mixed with manure. And yeah, that there's gonna be a lot of water in my barn. It sucks, I tried to shovel off of there, but then it comes off the roof a few days later. Ah, ah, no, no, you're not coming out. In a few months we'll be out there making hay. Oh, seems so far away. I love making hay. Uh, I just stopped filming there, cause that was, just kind of dumb. I don't know why. The horses just, they wanted to go out the gate and I didn't want them to and then they wouldn't go in the barn. I eventually got them in the barn, closed them in, then dad came out and stood by the gate because I'm dumb and I don't have a latch on that gate yet. I put that gate in a year ago. But I'm pretty excited about the surprise that's coming. You guys just have to stay tuned and wait. There'll be a lot of videos with this. Yeah, anyways, stay tuned for that. Um, anyways, I'm sorry I haven't, I just got into the video and I'm sorry I haven't been filming lately. I just kind of been not wanting to film and busy, really busy actually and yeah, I'm okay with it though. I like being busy, it keeps me out of trouble. Hi buddy. I love Applejack, he's so much calmer than when he came here. So is Trevette, they love it here. You guys love it here, except the shitty hay that I get. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. You're trying to escape. You're not gonna escape, buddy. I'm not gonna let you. Dad's gonna come out and block you guys so I can get out of here. Because I can't shut the gate all the way and Trevette knows how to open the gate. 
Uh, why is everything got to be so hard? Hey guys, it's the next day now. I kind of just stopped filming yesterday. But anyways, I got Applejack and Trivet out. I'm going to take them out and put them on that sleigh that I showed you guys yesterday. And yeah, should be pretty fun. I might just do around the sleigh loop around the ice pond and around the field. Don't want to do too much because the snow is kind of melting and yeah, I don't want to I don't want to ruin the snowpack too much right now. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. You guys ready to go out? Trivet didn't want to be caught. Applejack just comes right up and puts his head right in his halter. You're a good boy. You you wanted to be a pest today, huh, buddy? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna brush him down and tack him up. Got you all tacked up. What do you think? What do you think? Speak to the people, Applejack. Okay, that's what you think. They're all tacked up. I'm gonna go open the gates up to the lane first and then take them out, put them on the sleigh. Hopefully they go pretty easy. I don't have anybody to help me right now, but they're usually pretty good if I drive them around a little bit first, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm try I'll try to film a little bit, but it's super windy outside today. It's not too bad here in the barn, but I'll probably take some clips and just play some audio video or uh, music over it, so yeah. Well, I'm glad this happened before I got on the sleigh, but I just had my rain break clean, clean off. I was turning them onto the pole right here and it broke and then they started turning and Minnie was barking and I was not very happy, ho. But I'm glad it happened before I got on there and we were going somewhere. Guess I'm done with these reins. <laughs> that sucks. What kind of a bad situation to be in right there? I had a horse that was being anxious not listening. I had a dog that doesn't know how to behave around horses. And I had a line that broke. That's... Just nothing's ever easy. It never, never can just be, oh, I'm just going to go tack the horses up and go right out. Always something, let me tell you. Got some new lines on. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. But I will learn from that and I will make sure to check my reins more often, especially leather reins. Good boy, Applejack and Travat. Good boys. You're doing better than how we started, at least. That was miserable. You're not doing any better at listening, Minnie. The horses started bad, and you started bad. And the horses are better now, but you're not any better, Minnie. No. You're still being a B-word. Boys, you're doing real good. I like to stop right here before we go up the hill to give them a little rest. Oh, we we definitely had a rough start. But, you know, they're just like us. If you give them a little time to think after an argument or a mishap, they'll come to their senses and they're, they'll calm down a little bit. And they're, they, they're fine now. They're sitting here pretty good. It's just as I say that. Applejack, stand. Just stand, buddy. Just stand. Please. One of the things that I've learned is just you have to know when to raise your voice and not. And you can ask them the first time nicely. And keep asking them to do it, and you can raise your tone a little bit every time until they do it, do what you ask. And you have to know your horses too. You can't, there's some horses like Queen, you can't really raise your voice at her, but at the same time, with Samson, you kind of have to, you kind of have to tell them you're the boss. And it's a little hard to balance sometimes. I, I don't know. I guess if it was easy, everybody would do it. But it's a nice day. It's like, oh, I bet it's like 40 degrees, I bet. Not too bad. It's. I wish it was like 25 
so the snow would stick around a little while longer, but we rolled we rolled this whole trail for a sleigh loop with a tennis roller in. It's pretty good for sleigh condition for the sleigh. Pulling a little hard because it's just really wet, but not too bad. This sleigh, little sleigh though is really nice. This side right here, it's a little, um, it's a little high because the way it was stored on its side, but not bad. I think this winter when I store it, I'll put some heavy on this side so it'll even out a little bit. Okay, well I'll catch you guys back at home and I'll close out the video there. We took this sleigh out the other day. We didn't, we just had hay bales and Jay and Sarah and Cora all fell out <laughs> along the way. Just cause the way the, this, there's runners on this, the wheel or like the runner base is not very wide. It's only like two feet. So when you're going over bumps, there's not that much variance or I don't know how you'd put it. But anyways, you could hold six people with these two seats right here. Jay's dad brought these down, the seats down, the seat fell down, but you could hold, it'd be a little heavy on these guys, but you could put six, oh. Oh, you could put six people in here comfortably, I guess. What do you think, Minnie? See, at the beginning, I couldn't even get you guys to stand with the reins in my hands. Do a lap around the ice pond, around the field, two times. I could leave them here and I could go up to the barn and they'd still be right here when I come back. It's just, gotta give them time. It's fun, though. This sleigh's real cool. Perfect for these guys too. I was actually happy too. They didn't even try to trot it all the whole time, so they're they're doing good. Take them off the sleigh, go put them back, I guess. He's like, finally. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.